I could tell you a whimsical tale that's probably very inaccurate. The Sensible Sociopath. Two, three, one, go. Roma, the podcast is here. It really never gets old. Sorry about those jokes I said earlier about babies with both sets of genitals. What does that even mean? You know, I'm, I'm willing to risk my life for this podcast, Roma. Ugh. That sounds insane. I'm also willing to risk your life for this podcast. Periods are not just for women. And you'll get to red pill yourself if you if you choose to. Come on, if you're thirsty. Take off their underwear and relax with their uncle. It was kind of traumatizing. White people are bad and do bad things. How fast can I eat your ass? I mean, you know, you look at me and you go, this is an international man. My whole life is a sham. And you can't get the white Oreos. That's racist. I think I counted like 25 racially charged jokes. White privilege allows me to turn off someone's headlights. I was just being agreeable. Robo, when was the last time you were agreeable? It's been days. Also, if you try to poop really hard, sometimes you'll come. You would think that we'd have our shit together. It's the enema for your face. Yeah, I was gonna say, cleaning's for women. I'm not a lady, Roma. Oh, this is so gay. Let's try to be inclusive, Roma. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know these things, Roma. I know many things. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 91 of the Sensible Sociopath Podcast. What? what? Yeah! We're live on a Friday night. As and if, we should be. If it's not Friday night right now, just pretend we're live. <laughs> you can still super chat us. $8 a piece. <laughs> send, send that right to, our, uh, right to our PayPal account. And I owe you guys some money. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> That'll teach you to correct me. Oh, man. Dan's always correcting me on the... Uh, on the on the uh, movies and things like that. It's we ask it. for it most of the time. It's so. worth it. Yeah. Good worth investment. It. That's right. Exactly. Pays back in droves. <laughs> um, okay. So today we have a fun show uh, coming up. Are you aware of what we're doing today? I have not a clue other than the fact that I'm here. Excellent. So uh, Roma and I were reading the news together as we ought do. Okay. Um, and we were hearing some stories about the capital of America. Oh, really? Yeah, Washington D.C., named after an apple. Oh, wow! I didn't, I didn't know that we had a capital. Yeah, and it's not the computer brand like you would think. It, it would be the fruit. It's a, it's an arboreal fruit. Is that a uh, word? Well, I have no idea. Arboriginal. Arboreal. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Even if it's not a word, it is now. Like Arbor Day. So. With the nation's capital, we have, um, as, as any free country would, you have to have a military occupation to maintain order. Generally. Yeah. So what we've got is razor wire and like 5,000 troops just hanging out of the capital because, you know, security or whatever. Because it's a free country. Exactly. Well, you know, you've got to keep Sleepy Joe in. Well, I mean, you know, those when someone is that charismatic, it's like the Beatles. It's like <laughs> it's like uh, Elvis Presley. Everyone just wanted. You know how fast Elvis's uh, genitals would have been ripped off. Then where would we be? We'd have no Lisa Marie. Oh, that's so true. And then Michael Jackson would never have his baby blanket. Oh man. Oh, I get it. Baby blanket. <laughs> Makes sense now. But adult blanket just sounds a little wrong. Yeah, it doesn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't have an adult blanket. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. Especially as an older, an older gentleman such as ourselves, we're 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 mature. Yes, yes. So, <clears throat> one of the things that I've heard is the accommodations have been exceedingly good for our brave men and women in uh, uniform uh, from the National Guard. Oh, okay, from the National Guard. Yes, okay. they are the National okay. Guard, so they are in, um, I think they're technically enlisted, I guess, but I think it's just maybe a different kind than... I, than... I think those who are involved in the National Guard are actually, and you know, Brian would probably hit me for this, and mm. I'd welcome the resurrection, um, but... Uh, Erection. Yes, yeah. well, that that's more for Anthony, but you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> missing you, buddy. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway... Um, I think the uh, they're just like weekend reserves, so they're for the people who are on standby when everybody else is busy, and they and, come in. And I think uh, they they have jurisdiction within the country as well, so oh, okay. that the the actual military does not perform. You know, it would take um, something like martial law, which martial law would be, would be when the military, I guess, takes over law and order, yeah, over yeah. a country. 
um, National Guard, they're the ones who go in and help with nat- natural disasters. I know all about them. I've dealt with them. Okay, so with the firefighting? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Been on a couple of fires where they had to come in and just kind of not take care of us, but take care of the public and make okay. sure that they were staying out of our way so that we could do our job. Yeah, okay. Um, too many people trying to roast marshmallows and such, I would assume. It was more trying to bake outside pizzas. It's just, oh. you know, it makes too much of a mess, and they just don't want to understand because... Those goddamn Italians. Damn it, this is America. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get out of here. It's a fire. <laughs> no, my pizza's not done. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. <laughs> you goddamn Italians. <laughs> it's firing. I like it. I don't have a pizza button. I would. <laughs> should, probably, should, should really think about that. You know, I Maybe think the Mikey, little Caesars guy. Oh yeah, pizza pizza, pizza. pizza would be good. Yeah. But uh, Mikey, you know, saying I guess that would be in time frame. You know, pizza dude's got thirty seconds. <laughs> uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference, everyone. Yeah, I, I am old. I um not that old. I was thinking about those uh those those movies actually the other day i'm like i'm like how would they hold up i'm I'm sure pretty well i don't know i haven't seen one since i was a kid yeah dan's got a teenage ninja turtle sticker that he wants to put on his toolbox yes because i collect stickers and i put them on my toolbox and my helmet yeah uh i have two for my helmet for the sensible sociopath podcast Uh subscribe like do everything for us that's right and them put it inside yourself (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and I have uh, several on both of my toolboxes uh, for work. So, mm-hmm. um, but and uh, are they the are they the ones that look like uh, they've got the kind of the, the the fat letters, but the letters look like turtles, like like it's like green and no, lumps. it's actually a picture of them and okay. the uh, the van. I the turtle like. van. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I had the turtle van back in the Oof. day. Yeah. Oof. We also had Ecto one, and I think yeah. two. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, Christmases were good at our house. Yeah, Christmases oh, were the best. We got like the shit toys back then. Yeah. They um, weren't shit toys. They were the shit toys. The shit toys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey, Dan, yes. um, I brought some of that sensible sociopath podcast whiskey in. You mm-hmm. should pour some shots. I definitely should. Once again, giving it another try. Hey, when you, you see the melted wax, you know, sensible <laughs> sociopath whiskey. <laughs> we'll give it a shot, eh, Roma? Yep. Sounds good. I get it. <laughs> So, our nation's heroes um, have been staying at the best hotels in Washington, D.C. and eating the finest foods. But what we wanted to tell, uh, what we wanted to show everyone is kind of that our, uh, there are times when they have, when they have harder times, you know, when they're out deployed on missions and such. Uh, Clinky, clinky. Basically, the story, the news story is that I've been I've been sarcastically alluding to is <laughs> that within the nation's capital, uh, I believe we have it up. There has been uh, some reports of uh, <coughs> them getting sick. And I think it's the the next tab over Roma. Um, some of the National Guard troops getting sick. There has been like raw meat. <clears throat> And things uh, that were take images were taken and I guess like uploaded to social media. There was also uh, several instances of metal shavings in the food. Mm. Did they did they give these people the food? Check your on the back. Uh, not that one. There we go. We're having technical difficulties. I think it's also just me. That, that's true. I, I do have a tendency to have things happen when I'm around. My apologies. It's all right. Okay. Sounds better now, though. Um, so there's been raw food, raw chicken. Do they have any of those pictures on there, Roma? Let's see. Uh, okay, so there's an orange with a, a, a moldy vagina yeah, on it. Yeah, it looks like there's, there's maggots in it. There's, uh, what's that meat on there? Uh, it, is that meat? On the left-hand side there. Yeah, can you zoom in on that, Roma? I thought that was pudding. Uh, Pink pudding in the middle? Well, if you're going to have pudding, you might as I well I don't know what pink. that is, but it's disgusting. Yeah, the one below that on the left-hand corner would be a roll, a dinner roll that's moldy, I believe. Um, oh, and then there's the metal shaving that was found in the 
those are in a several different photos. So I don't know what was going on, but it looked like it was different meals too. So did the citizens bring them this? So there's a contractor. And actually, Rome, if you go back to the tab before it, the there is <clears throat> um uh scroll down to um tainted food. There was something about them uh continuing with the same contractor that they weren't gonna uh they weren't gonna gonna dump the the contractor that's i guess responsible for create cooking these meals um and just the way that the meals look it looks terrible uh they would have been kicked off of a fire so fast it's not even funny how yeah. fast they'd have been kicked off kicked off a fire you have to make so much food for so many people and three would, times a day i would imagine um <clears throat> the uh if the food was was tainted and not cooked and, and had oh yeah metal shavings in it oh yeah yeah N no no oh, no God, they, look at that go go back to that rova it says they found raw beef and metal shavings in their food yeah oh so it's supposed to be a burger but it's raw in the metal wow that, that is not a burger yeah. It looks I, I know burgers. Burgers are a big part of my life, and that is not a burger. <laughs> well, speaking of which, what I wanted to do today was uh, do an unboxing, really. Okay. And in that unboxing, we're going to uh, we're going to help people understand how the military eats. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I couldn't find enough metal shavings or sweet or uncooked beef. Oh come on, man! You're so, letting me down. So we had to do the next best thing. Roma, okay. Do you want to go wide? Sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are. This would be um, <laughs> meals ready to eat. Uh, individual, actually, Department of Defense. Oh, yeah. Um, Eaten plenty. Brand. Have you ever had these before? Oh, yes. Oh, you have. Okay. Because uh, when you're out in a quote-unquote spike camp. Okay. Which is, uh, guess what? This is a camp now mm -hmm. in the middle of the woods. Okay. And this is where you're going to be going to fight the fire on yes. this side. Uh, we can't get catering up to you. Do you have MREs? Mm -hmm. If not, we will bring you boxes. Yeah. And they're heavy, too. They're like 20 oh, yes. pounds a box or something like that. Oh, yes. Um, and they are jam-packed with... Um, and did you get the actual Department of Defense ones? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Very oh, yes. cool. Well... Um, they did not scrimp on the fires. They wanted to make sure that you got the, the best quality that yeah. you could uh, as, as you were a disaster relief employee mm -hmm. of the, you know, of the country, yeah. essentially. So without it being... Like, my job has always been the background guy who supports everybody, whether it's mm. food or building something for somebody or going out and fighting the fire. Yeah, support. It's it's, it's support yeah. because it's not as uh, prominent as the military or police. Mm -hmm. But without or like us, a break dancer. Uh, they are the most crucial yeah, and the hardest to find. You're like the backup dancer to the... To the main guy, you I'm, know? I'm definitely in the guy the guy in the background giving mm -hmm. reactions. Oh, shit. Yeah, walking around, throwing hands <laughs> up. Yeah. No, he did it! No, he did it! <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's me. Well, um, keep in mind that uh, both Jennifer Lopez and K-Fed were both backup dancers, and look at them now. You know, that's very true. Mm -hmm. That is so, very true. Never lose hope. No. So... I didn't know anything really about MREs. I knew a little bit about survival food. Okay. That you get the like bucket and it's got like broccoli cheese soup in it. You yeah. know, and <laughs> so you're like, oh, I could have just really bought broccoli cheese soup packets and <laughs> saved myself the trouble of the bucket. All you need is water. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, which is what these are really. Uh, all you need is water. And so there's two case types there's menu A and there's menu B. Were you? I'm sure you were yep. aware of this. They've also got breakfast menus now. Wow, I never heard that. 
Yeah. You've blown my fucking mind. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes I'm happy to educate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so these, uh, there are 24 because there's menu A and menu B, and each case comes with 12 of these packets. There are uh, the 24 flavors, and so the first box would be, uh, menu A would be, you know, meal one through 12 which is a type of menu they're all different actually i have uh sarah actually really enjoys these when uh i was uh done with fighting fire a few years ago i had at least a case left over and she was like yeah i, I want them so menu a consists of menu uh so number one is chili with beans number two is shredded beef barbecue sauce uh, number three, chicken and egg noodles. Number four, spaghetti, beef sauce, all that. So you get this different menu each time you, um, you know, with each different one. So Danny's what I help. wanted to do, do you remember any of the numbers or what they were? No, I don't. Okay, so the one we do know is menu 19 is beef. Sarah says that uh, if I knew you were getting gourmet dinner, I would have ordered less pizza, Dan. <laughs> and she also says quit touching things dan all right. all right sorry about that are we back yes we are back okay that sounds better okay i hope so let's get to this we've got a beef patty we've got a no whammy oh boy Tuna, chunk light, water packed, lemon pepper. Oof. That's got to be delicious. <laughs> uh. And, Romy, you want some beef goulash? Sure. All right. <laughs> They're Oof. about five pounds a piece, too. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah, you, you burn it off pretty quick. <laughs> I don't know that I will, but podcasting. Yeah, yeah, podcasting. That's the only way I know. All right. Wait, how do you open these things? Do I need this? Um need is a strong word. Mm -hmm. If you want it, keep it around. Yeah. So how do you open them? Well, they uh it says it has a peelable seal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of like, you know. A bag of cereal once it's in the box. Mm hmm But of course, you know, to be able to eat, mm -hmm. you've got to be able to pry open your food. Apparently, I'm oh, not nice. eating tonight. <laughs> what? Oh, go for the, uh, go if, for right at the, see that little triangle on it, Roma? Uh-huh. The, the arrow? This, the, the crimped triangle, so you see it like, see it like, it's got the little crimp. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a tip to it right there, right in the very middle. You see, it goes up. Yes. You see the glue? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So if you, no, you don't, you don't tear it. You. That's what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Yay. All right. So within that, interesting. So there's, there's just this whole, there's a beverage base orange type. This is awesome. Looks like a packet of drugs. Like yeah, a kilo true. of co cocaine. Somebody muled it. <laughs> I was oh, wondering shit. why it smelled funny. You've got Star Kissed? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. And you tear it. Whoa. So. I almost just lost all my. Yeah, be careful. You don't want it to spill all Sarah over the place. Sarah says Dan gets first dibs on beef stroganoff. Oh, <laughs> betrayal. Betrayal. Got baked snack crackers. Yeah. Yeah. A hot beverage bag. That's nice. I was so, wondering about this. Beef goulash, beef with brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. That sounds good. Yeah. I'd eat it. Oh, applesauce. Apple sauce. Comes with your little packet of two two pieces of gum, uh, beverage powder. A uh, moist towelette. Oh, snap, I, son. Iodized, iodized salt. It comes with gum? That's hilarious. 
and just in case you got to kiss somebody out on the what know. is this made in san francisco by lighthouse or or the blind and visually impaired what i think that's a napkin oh, for the blind and visually impaired mm -hmm. i also There's... got a uh marble pound cake oh that sounds nice um you also get uh cards with the with the uh yeah that's what mine with the health information. Oh. Oh, it tells you the vitamins and everything. Vitamins, 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 <laughs> minerals. Goddamn vitamins. <laughs> and sometimes you luck out and you get Reese's Pieces. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, you, oh, peanut M&Ms. Oh, nice. And you can't go, of course, without your cheese spread. It's one of the most I hear, important parts. That's what I heard. I heard is that is the one that the people, I got uh, the cheese peanut, bread and crackers. I got peanut butter and uh, strawberry jam. Okay. Mm. Lemon, lime, no fruit juice flavored drink mix. Here we go. Ooh, cheese bread with bacon. <laughs> yeah, for the win. That's nice. This is exciting. It's like Christmas. Fat-free mayonnaise? <laughs> yeah, fat-free mayo. Oh, I got patriotic sugar cookies. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. They stepped up their game. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's awesome. I oh. wonder I wonder if communists get like hammer sickle cookies or like <laughs> actually no, they don't have food. Patriotic <laughs> sugar cookies. It's awesome. Yeah. And plain tortillas. Yeah, I got some tortillas myself. Yeah. I got white wheat snack bread, T F F. I got barbecue sauce. Nice. And I got a golden spoon. It's very it's, Yours is golden? Yeah. Mine looks I'd copper. Say it's closer to bronze okay. yeah. more than anything. <laughs> you know, some of us see things through. Milk the chocolate lines. coca beverage powder. Oh, nice. nice. Cocoa? You know, if 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 you didn't have anything but just coffee, that actually doesn't go terribly in black coffee. And the other thing is, I didn't is that get... um, Oh, I got the cookies, never mind. Did you guys get a a uh, a condiment? So it looks like barbecue sauce is what I got. But I was reading, and it looks like we get, um, I think it's No, that I just one. got cheese bread. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, well, just no. some cheese bread. Um, Roman, did you get a condiment, like ketchup or mustard or any of those? I got peanut butter and jelly. I got applesauce. Oh, um, I like got a condiment. white wheat snack bread. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's racist. <laughs> All I, right. I got the cookies. And this is the this is the the in interesting part is the heater bag. Okay. Oh, see, you got the one that actually needs one of those. Mine, I am apparently eating oh. just as it is. Oh, You're so I got nice one too. Cold. Since uh, you know, tuna is just generally okay as soon as you open yeah. it. Well, you can eat it raw. Right. Like uh, do you like want to human get flesh? You? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you want to get a different one then? No, no, vapors no. released. I might by... as well do what I've got. How do you mm. how do you make this hot? Um, actually, oh, it's got a heated pad in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you kind of oh, got to be careful because those will get extremely hot. Oh shit! You... So I should just keep it in my lap then, like just grip <laughs> it between my thighs. I think that's what I should do. MRE if you're bold, meal mm -hmm. ready to eat heater. So bag, pouch, heater, lines. Yeah. Um, so Teach us, Dan. There's, okay. So what you're going to do is. And I think I have several things to warm up. I've got potatoes and beef. I'd also like some hot tortillas if possible. Um, and then can I melt down these. Uh, you these, you uh, can. M&Ms uh, to. Do you need, do you need a yeah. giant knife? <laughs> Not, not this time. Okay. Um, so, the uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your your package. <laughs> My keep your balls. eyes out, lady. No. Um, you're gonna put the food that I want heated. Yes, you're gonna put that in there. All right. Like so. I'll let you handle that. And you have to do it so that the uh, food package is on the top um that's because you know heat cooks better going mm -hmm. upwards mm -hmm. so of course you're going to want this at an angle uh for it to work best okay and 
um, then you pour the water in and it says up to oh yeah just down here because oh, okay. above here is where it's going to overfill so Let's do it. All right, we've got some comments here. Uh, Undoctor Peach says, "All I can see with that knife is this crocodile Dundee scene." <laughs> Sarah says they used to have cigarettes in them. Cat uh, says M and M's were originally made to transport chocolate more easily to the troops during the world First World War. Yeah, that's what I heard. And uh... Sarah says that uh, the communists get they get raw potatoes. <laughs> frozen potatoes yep okay um so i opened my white wheat snack bread tff because i was curious and it's like kind of reminds me of like a i may have overfilled a little Oof. cracker with pita bready thing doesn't smell very good no no they generally don't <laughs> it, it really doesn't i don't like it <laughs> I mean, I'd eat it, but I don't like it. Maybe it tastes better than the smells. It's probably for my strawberry jam and peanut butter. You know, one of the oh. things that I'm surprised about is generally they. You're right, Steve. They do actually have some kind of a uh, uh, a sauce or a condiment of some kind, mm -hmm. and um, one of the most common is actually like Tabasco. Okay. Just. Just as in gen as generally, they'll just throw it. Like I had spaghetti and meatballs once. They've got one of those here. We'll use. Yeah. Oh yeah. My beverage is strawberry type or raspberry type three. Raspberry type three, Roma. Yep. Not not type one. Nope, type three. Oh man. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it into my water. Yeah. Sugar free, low calorie. I thought the point was try to get as many calories as possible. I guess you don't want blood sugar spikes, though. Yeah, I think all of the drinks are sugar-free. Um, I don't know exactly, you know. Okay, who's going to cook my food? I think Dan. Hold on, I'm just trying to make sure. Is that heating up? Nope. Oh, wait, in one spot it is. Okay. Okay, I just made raspberry drink. It looks like blood. It literally looks like blood. <laughs> it's delicious. Is it? Good. I mean, you know, for what it is. It tastes like Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to get pretty hot, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> help me. Somebody help me. Okay. Make my food. <laughs> That's right. no different so that than normal. Cooks. Yeah, I know. Get on it, Dan. I'm going right. to open up these tortillas and really show people what a real tortilla looks like. You think that, um, you know, what you get in those fancy... Oh, actually, you know what? It looks just like regular tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing that says do not eat, I don't know if that's referring to the tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's embedded in it, right? I mean, it seems to be integral. So yeah. eat around it. I see. I see what that is. It's a place where you hold your fingers. <laughs> Whoa. Careful, Dan. Okay. I feel like we weren't prepared for this. There you go. Roma, none of us knew what we were doing. That's part of the experience here. Sarah says, Dan, don't we have a whole box of MREs in the garage? No, no, we don't. We used to. Because she's hungry. I think we gave now. them to Piper <laughs> a long time ago. Fucking Piper. <laughs> I must say, I think I got the best dessert here. I got the patriotic sugar cookies. I, I hope mean, they're in the shape of little flags or something. Or eagles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be so awesome. It's a constitution. Yeah, it's a little constitution. Yeah, Declaration little... of Independence. It's a pocket constitution cookie. <laughs> I got Abraham Lincoln's head. <laughs> oh, I just got uh, uh, Lionel Richie's head from the music video Hello. Sarah says that I'm like the emo kids drinking blood drinks and shopping at Hot Topic in the 2000s. That's true. Did you um, make it into I, in a cup or did you? Yeah, I just poured okay. it in with that. I didn't pour the whole thing in. Yeah. Because and then I stirred it with my finger like a like a fucking badass. Like a soldier. Yeah. 
It melted down really well. I use bidets, Roma, so. Um, oh, don't pour it back in there. Oh, I was going to use that to drink. <laughs> it, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to oh, go get good. more water? Well, Whoops. Yeah. Okay. That would um, probably be a wise decision. Yeah, it smells bad. bad. Yeah. <laughs> it smells bad. Yeah. Smell bad. Roma, there's another, there's that beige pitcher okay. in there. Yeah, they're not. Can it's, I? It's can I see one of your cups? Oh yeah, yeah. So so much easier on the fire. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, and so that comes with this bag for your hot drink as well. And so basically, yeah. Put the bag in the sleeve and leave for four to five minutes, I guess. And I think it's something called coffee. Oh no, it's called Bill's Brew. Clinton. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, he really likes freeze dried coffee. Well, you know, he must have got jealous of Hugh Jackman. Oh, so. it smells gross in here. <laughs> Sorry, Aroma? I tried to shower earlier. I just ran out of time. I don't like the smell of that. Whatever it is. It's a uh, smell of chemistry. Yeah. I'm Science. Sure, I'm sure it smells good to you once, like you're hungry and <laughs> you associate that smell with food. Um, Mine fell off. Oh, uh, your holder? You, how you're holding those? <laughs> Aren't you holding those tortillas? I don't know. If you don't have the finger trap. I, I, Sarah I, says she loves you. You will break everything you own on accident. <sighs> yeah. Dan, did you make my food yet? It's being made right oh now. Oh, my God. Take forever. Yeah, well, you know, you got to wait for something, Roma. Okay, so I think these are just coffee grounds. I don't think there's any instantness <laughs> to this. I think you got to drink the cowboy coffee. Are you making coffee? Yeah. It doesn't look very dark. I'm fancy, Roma. <laughs> it's, a, it's a blonde bl bl blend. A blonde blend. A blonde <laughs> <laughs> The uh, it just, seals good. Just, just, <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> you I almost, almost dumped, dumped it all that, over my keyboard. yeah, all over the equipment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, at least it's you know testing the mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's just good. It works. I mean, I'm gonna eat some of my um, yeah. applesauce. Okay, so this is how you make coffee, people. Oh, I think this is like those uh, fruit pouches thing. I think you just like suck on it. All right. Take it easy over there. Well, I don't see how else to open it because it was a little tiny opening. Mm hmm. Right, Dan? Is that how you eat it? Like straight out of the package? Uh, unless you're putting it on your wheat crackers or, oh. you know, your bread that they give you. I'll try that. I'm, I'm fairly confident that's done. You think so? Yeah, your, your actual meal. Yeah, but I need my wheat crackers for the strawberry and peanut butter jam. I'm not eating on my wheat cracker. And it's, it's nope, too still cold small. On the one side. It's too small uh, for my spoon. Your it's spoon like doesn't those, spin there? No, not in that little opening. It's like those squeeze it packets for children. You know, I'm kind of um I'm kind of surprised by how little water it takes. For the cooking. Yeah. Um, it tastes like applesauce, but really sweet. Applesauce enhanced with malodextrin for increased performance. It <laughs> ingredients, apples, sugar, malodextrin, water, uh, azorbic acid, vitamin C. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. He's got some baked crackers over there. Which I think would be much like uh, a Cheez-It or... Right. See, Close I prefer... To Thankfully, they don't have a pizza attempt in the middle of them. I prefer applesauce that's not sweetened. Roma, would you like some baked snack crackers? Sure. While you wait. That's really good. Is it good? Yeah. I They're mean, it's cheesy. Yeah. I actually have real sugar here, which is interesting. I got some matches. These matches are designed especially for damp climates. Ooh, ooh. Um, just in case you're keeping them in your panties, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was thinking when it was more time for the, uh, you know, off the side of the road firefighter car wash. So, Kat, oh. 
Cat wants to know how is it heating up. She wants to know science, yeah, how, it, how it works. Um, so yeah, oh, so these crackers are really good. It's kind of like those hot hands, you know, like when you open them and then the I think the oxygen causes oxidation. Uh, I Do believe... you break them or no? So just exposing them to the environment, exposing them to the air. Uh, I believe it's an oxidative reaction, and that's where the heat is produced. And so there's something about the breakdown of, I guess it would probably be the water with it. Okay. Um, I could eat these crackers all day. They're really good. I think they're better than Cheez-Its. I mean, I'd probably join the military just for the crackers. Yeah, agreed. I mean, you stay for the for the friendship. <laughs> <laughs> it's the brotherhood. But you, but you come for the crackers, yeah. But it is all about the crackers. I mean, do you think there's a lot of cheese nip jokes going around there? <laughs> <laughs> cheese cheese based nipple jokes? <laughs> Probably. Mm. Probably. God, those communists are amazing. Oh, damn it. Wrong one. <laughs> How long if you're thirsty? <laughs> the nip joke. Uh, so Undoctor Peach <laughs> says, Dan, since, or since Dan seems to be eating on the show, I'm going to polish this pizza. <laughs> I figured. I figured. That's just fine. Dan's uh, Dan's got all the tuna casserole he could eat. Thankfully, it's just tuna and not a tuna casserole. Okay, there's smoke coming from that? Yes. Is that okay? Yes, that is actually supposed to do that. Mm-hmm. I was telling Roma that, and she didn't believe me. She was panicking all over the place. If you guys notice, in the middle of the screen, there's, like, hot vapor escaping. <laughs> That's right how you know it's this, working. This area. Yeah, it's nice. Keep it hot and steamy on the sensible sociopath. That's how we look so young, <laughs> you know? Those hot, steamy... MRE facials. facials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that coffee coming? It's like fucking piping hot. Probably. Did it Did it? Um, no, come with, like, cream or sugar? Yeah, it does have creamer. It does have sugar. Actually, I'll just put it all in there because, you know, Roma, why not? Do it. Yep. Um, how much salt do you put in coffee? Is that a... Uh, I was told that you do that to neutralize the bitter. That is true. Actually, I don't like sweet coffee. You don't? Mm -mm. I mean, I'll drink it, but I'm I don't. sweet enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's Roma. That's my impression of Roma. <laughs> Brick and, Top would be proud. And also Brick Top. <laughs> <laughs> we still have to watch that woman. We still have to do that. Am I the woman? No. Oh. Trans but, woman? Uh, Roma. Yes. You should watch Snatch with us sometime. What is it? Snatch. Oh, I thought you said Mash. I'm like, I've seen most of Mash. <laughs> no, it's... This does remind me of Mash, though. Yeah. No, Bricktop's my favorite. He's uh, got huge glasses and bad teeth. Oh, my favorite is uh, him trying to explain to Gary about loyalty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I... How's I, my dinner coming, Dan? I've got sugar and creamer in my in my brown water. It is. Mm. You know, this looks like a colostomy there. bag. <laughs> I, I, I'd have to take your word for that. It does, though. It's got the chunks coming in it. You, you have to fart burp it. Uh, let's see. Uh, a <laughs> bag of brown liquid is looking very suspicious. Sus. <laughs> is that what sus, sus is? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Well, um, that's from... Amongst us. Among us, yeah. yeah. Uh, because it's like it's like ten people. Is it is it ten people per game? Something, Something like, like that. that. <clears throat> and one person is the killer, and so basically it's like, like a suspect. Yeah. Okay. You're, yeah, they're sus. I assumed it was typo. Yeah. I had a I had a Gen Z coworker tell me, "Man, that's that's being pretty sus right there." I was like, "Mm-hmm." Do you mean suspect? Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Yeah, aren't you familiar with the game?" And I'm like, "No." Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, or suspicious. Um, so I'm looking at the napkins here, and actually, it's toilet paper. <laughs> Is it really? Yep. Oh, it's TP. The blind and the visually impaired. Um, there's an old uh, comedian's joke about how do you know when you're done wiping if you're visually impaired. <laughs> You smell, smell your fingers? I don't know. Dog? <laughs> you put it in front of the dog's face? They bark once, bark twice. I don't know. 
That's a good. Tra that's a well-trained dog. <laughs> yes. Sarah says Dan's barefoot in the studio making dinner. <laughs> so Dan, you used to, to uh, do fires. Yes, yes, I did. Um, I also know that you have a, a death-defying story for us. Oh, oh yeah, were you going to tell us a fire story? <laughs> yes, yes, actually. So this I is was. this was death attempt number. Well, technically, it'd be number four, right? Uh, this one was number. You're this coming. This one was number five. Okay. Number five. What Sorry, is that? Oatmeal cookie. <gasps> oh snap! So TFF. Wait, I it's, didn't get can, candy though. It's a TFF variety. Can you pass the water, please? So wait, you got cookies and candy, Roma? I didn't let's get not candy. worry about what each other gets. Okay, some people are better than others. I got, I got hot chocolate though. I also got bacon nacho cheese. I, I think you I, got the better one. I got marble pound cake and Reese's pieces. What? Where's my candy? Roma, did you look for it? I didn't get any. <laughs> Did you get barbecue sauce too for your no. cookies? No, I got peanut butter and jelly though. That's probably it. That's probably it. Mm -hmm. I got lemon lime juice drink. Oh, gross. So, so he got green drink and tuna. Uh, you got tuna? Yeah. Yeah, gross. he just got cold lemon, tuna. Lemon pepper cold tuna with, you know, authentic <laughs> cheese spread out of the package. That yeah, sounds we have to show With it. the baked crackers. I am not putting the fat free mayonnaise in it though. I, I, I could do refusing. a wide shot too. Yeah. Well, I, I, Dan, I want you to show what you made oh, um, okay. to the well, people. Here's. Well, that looks toxic. Here's, yeah. Here's you got to show it the other way because uh, your head's oh, covered. Oh, the, uh, yeah. The wit the witch's brew. Yeah. So nice. show it to this you know, camera and then show like your blood. show your creation there. Okay. Your concoction. And um, I figured since we had the. Oh my tortilla, God. yeah. The the lemon pepper tuna. And not I would cheese. normally not do this at all. This, but thank you for sacrificing for, for the, the show. show. For the show, yeah. The uh, cheese spread that comes out like it was from the can, mm -hmm. and you know I figured a little crunch, top it with some of the baked cheese crackers. Why not? Yeah. So. Um... Alex says 10 people per game, you can have up to eight killers. He would be eight an expert. killers? That's what it says. Wow. Jeez. You're the only one who isn't sus. Wait, no, there's eight people. Well, I guess it's. Wait, would you be sus about other people if you were a killer as well? I guess you already know that. Right. Except me. I would it's think like... I was the only killer and I'd be like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, there's seven other people that'll kill me. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to try my peanut butter and jelly on my. Um... My white wheat snack bread. I'm I'm gonna say that I think you're probably pretty good with uh, your dinner here, but it is surprisingly extremely hot. Yeah, mine is not. Mine's sucker. Kinda... I think you need to lay it flatter. You you want to come grab your dinner? Yeah, I'm coming. Hold on, I'm making peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Do you want to pull Roma's uh, uh, food out of it and put it, put my coffee in there? Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. Put that there. I'm sure it'll retain retain enough heat. Oh yeah, it's still cooking. See, this is what we do in here in the military. Um, we share each other's sacks, steamy <laughs> sacks. Well, you know, steamy. If you're gonna have a sack, sack and it's <laughs> steamy. You better share it. Um, they so only gave you a spoon though. How am I supposed to spread this? They gave you a spoon. I said they only gave you the spoon. Oh, do you want a knife? No. That's not a knife. <laughs> ah, that's right. Okay, so when you open this, mm -hmm. you're going to want to open it from, right at your face from the side <laughs> and as close to your eyeball as mm -hmm. possible. Okay. Do you, there do you, you want go. scissors, Roma, or are you going to go commando? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'd like to see you get injured in this if we could. Please don't. My wife will blame me. Well, shouldn't have heated Yeah, she would. Shouldn't have heated it up so well. Actually, I think I do need scissors. All right. I'm failing. Close enough. For you the know, win. You really got to throw scissors when you're in, in doubt. Right? <laughs> you're doubtful about what's going to happen next. You throw the goddamn scissors. This is pretty hot. It's just... That's it's, hot. It's not dissolving. 
<laughs> okay, you got to show people that though. You see, that's okay. so that's what we're doing. We're bringing them in. Okay. This isn't about so, you, Dan. Okay, this, this is, is true. It is not. Yeah, but uh, it's. You see the chunkiness? Mine dissolved. It's, it's, but I didn't put all of it in, though. It's not dissolving. Okay, here's my uh, beef goulash. It actually looks pretty good. The old beef gulag. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they say to the tenured prisons? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Welcome to the beef gulag. Yeah, that's a, it's a sex club. <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm trying this. Roma, you go for it. Wait a minute, did I not get... I kind of smell like chili. I thought I got an orange drink. I'm going to be farty tonight. It's chili? It smells like okay. it. You're eating chili, Roma? No, but it's actually really good. I mean, for what it is, it's really good. What's your guys' drank stuff look like? Your uh, drank packet. Um... Like crystal light. Look, it was in my um the my napkins. Very different. It was in my napkins and stuff. Because hmm. I could have. I, I think didn't I say like, oh, I got an orange. Drink. Oh, they also gave me. This is good. Is it? Yeah. Do you want a bite? Yeah, sure. So if my first drink. Dan, have you had this before? No, no, but I will. I will try it. Is that's a goulash. <clears throat> Yeah. Beverage oh. berry, beverage base raspberry number three. That's what I got. Is what they threw in there. That's How is it? It's good. Oh, nice. It it tastes good. like Kool-Aid. Well, I'm going to have a mix of flavors. Yeah, yep. I like the raspberry number three. Lemony and limey. So that's limey. actually got real beef. Yeah, it's good. That's. I mean, really, it's like it's like almost like a it's like just a roast as, or a yeah. Kind of, yeah, it's just as good as like um, what is it, Progresso soup or, or Dinty Moore or some, something, you know, something That's hearty. It's not very that hearty. bad. Yeah, it's good. And it's not as salty as as uh, freeze dried food, you know, as like as like um. Mountain we should have gotten some of that um, astronaut freeze dried ice cream. Oh, I should have. I I was uh, I was at an Army Navy surplus store today, and I. I kind of perused, but I didn't. I guess that didn't jump out at me. Um, but these I've are, never had it. Yeah, and these come with their own. I mean, you know, they come with everything, which is. I just nice. got a big piece of steak or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know if mine's really going to heat up that well. But they said that some of them are duds. You know, some of them are very heatful, and some of them are not as heatful. <laughs> Sarah says, Rumble, you have to report back on if the red drink is as explosive as the last run with Crystal Light. Yes, Rumble shit her pants on the show. Not on the show. <laughs> but I, yeah, I did shit my pants from Crystal Light. <clears throat> this is totally good. Well, I guess I'm just drinking my fat free mayo. <laughs> Why is your stuff not working? Um, no, I don't, I don't know where, where, I thought I had the Oh, your drink. drink. What? I said, oh, your drink. Yeah. Yeah, Roma. And it's I'm not very under, thirsty. It's not a, <laughs> <laughs> very I'll thirsty. never be able to get that out of my head, Steve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, Do you want some of mine? No, I'm okay. But I am going to crack open my, whatever it is I've got. <laughs> All right. Time to give this lemon lime Flavor. Uh, flavor. Fla flavor. My apologies. <laughs> flavor. Uh, it's supposed to prevent caking. Um, promote, I believe they. Oh, it, oh, promote caking. Yes. Okay. Well, that definitely looks. That's all stirred in nice and good. Yeah. Here we go. Give it a swig, as we say. I have a little bit more uh, applesauce here out of a bag. Well, and it's kind of nice because it's good. Um, they they make the perforation on the on the the wide line, and that way you have more of a an eating. Right. You know, it's not like eating out of a can of cigarettes. Right. You know, like cans of <laughs> cigarettes go. <laughs> good old days, of cans of cigarettes. Oh my God, this is gonna be great. They actually used to sell cigarettes in. So tins. wait, which one did you get? Oh, I opened the wrong one. I thought I thought my beef was covered in in nacho cheese, but it's potatoes au gratin. 
cold potatoes au gratin? No. Oh, uh, they're heated. Yeah, they're already relatively heated, heated. I mean, you know. Relative's a loose term. Yeah. Fair. Okay. So that totally threw me off. Okay, so this is the beef patty. Now, there's two markations on here. So it's like there's a one and then a two. So I guess depending on where the beef is located. Alex want your, wants your death story. That's nice. We were <laughs> getting there. Yeah. We were showcasing MREs. Yeah. No, I'm going to um make you guys a... Uh, Something delicious you've never had before. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, go ahead, Dan. All right. So, uh, my final season of firefighting back in um, 2016. Uh, I'm on a fire. <clears throat> it's night shift. So, that begins. How can at... you see where the fire is? <laughs> you have headlamps. Oh, okay. You know, so it, so it doesn't sneak up on you. GPS. Uh, and the bandana is so that it doesn't know that you can smell under that bandana. So, COVID. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I worked on engine crews, which is a three man crew. There's the driver and then the two other firefighters mm -hmm. who are rolling. Um, uh, on ecstasy. You see me rolling. <laughs> you hate it. Mm -hmm. Both. <laughs> <laughs> depends on what uh, depends on the dj really mm -hmm. um so you'll have somebody who's driving the vehicle and then you will have the two people who are in the back uh generally working the uh the water pump and the fire hose i know sounds all great i was gonna sexy. say sounds sexy yeah <laughs> fire so, pump water hose there, there are like five Dan's of us. Dan's all dressed up as a fireman. And uh, <laughs> I'm in a canyon um, on the night shift. We can see on the ridge um, that the fire is just kind of playfully being up in the trees. You know, just la 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 la, no big deal. Uh -huh. We we can see it. We know where it is. Our job for the evening mm -hmm. is to prevent the fire from jumping from one side of the road, which is the black. And where the fire is currently existing to the green, which is down below, which can cause, you know, an even bigger problem and harder to contain. <clears throat> so where I was fighting the fire up in the northwest, where a lot of fires like to happen in the fall mm -hmm. and the summertime, um, in uh, the canyon that we were on, um, in the middle of the night where no one... In uh, the higher ups, decided to take the uh, conditions of a canyon in this particular area, um, <clears throat> and uh, the wind shifted unexpectedly. And my older brother, when I explained firefighting to him, he uh, is really big into fantasy and uh, you know. D and D and and gaming and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. you know. So, he, I'm, I'm telling him about what we're doing. Get a bunch of guys, create a fire line, try and suppress the fire from coming closer. And he's like, "So, what you're telling me is you're a dragon slayer?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, that makes the most sense. <laughs> sure, you know, to animate it." Mm -hmm. Um, and what the dragon decided to do that evening was whip its tail around, change the breeze, and then it started coming directly for us at a very rapid speed. Oh, shit. So it started consuming all of the trees. Within about 10 minutes, the whole side of the road is ablaze. Oh, my God. And then the ember wash starts. Ember so wash okay. is uh, when pine trees, you know, pine needles, they, they flare up real fast, especially with sap pine sap it will also you know if it's uh compressed enough when it's heated up it'll pop mm -hmm. and explode um cool yeah <laughs> and uh it's it's cool to watch un until you see what it actually does um and then with all the pine needles and the wind coming the the embers start flying into the green from the other side of the road so we've got the engines who are uh, using the the fire tanks to um, keep 
the fire suppressed at the road line. And then me, I was a classified firefighter one. Um, you start out as a firefighter trainee level two. And then from there, you become a firefighter level two. And then you become a firefighter level trainee number one. And then you become an actual firefighter level one. And Sounds complicated. Yes. <laughs> because I'm opening my patriotic cookie. <gasps> oh, snap. The reveal? The reveal. Well, they're kind of broken. Here's a star. <laughs> I, he, I literally thought that was an eagle. Is there stripes? Tell me there's stripes. Oh, it is an eagle. It oh. is. It's broken, but yeah, look. They're little eagle heads. Oh, that's amazing. <clears throat> All right. Well, here's the <laughs> snack that I made for Roma and uh, what is it? Dan, super fan Dan. Oh. It is a uh, beef with uh, bacon nacho cheese <gasps> with okay. potatoes au gratin, oh, which mayonnaise with fat-free mayonnaise and barbecue sauce on it. Oh Ooh. my god! Let and me I just will. cut it in half and uh, top it with a chiclet. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. I didn't mean to cut you off. I got really excited about my cookies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Understandably so, Romerica. Understandably so. It's totally your genre. <laughs> and uh, so the fire shifted and was the dragon essentially turned and started breathing right in our faces. So my job at that point was to keep the fire from uh, starting in the green and progressing. So whenever we saw a spot fire, um, that's where the embers hit combustibles and fuels that are dry fuels. Now let me ask you this. <clears throat> what 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 distances are you from the things you're protecting? So like like your all your guys' equipment, your like are you out there uh just preventing the fire from moving on or at this point has the fire like come to where you guys are oh it's right like when i said where the your dragons tents are where's right. your oh no 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 yeah. uh we were uh main camp mm -hmm. is miles away okay miles so away. you're just trying to stop the progression when the, <clears throat> when the winds changed correct you, you guys were not prepared for that at all no okay no we weren't yeah. hold on one second what kind of meat is this uh beef interesting beef patty. i mean it looks cooked so it, well it's all fully cooked these are all ready to eat it's just ideal that you get them heated up like tuna Got it. <laughs> like delicious, delicious tuna. I had. I mean, it's not bad, especially with it, the it the might barbecue be sauce. Warm now. Hmm? Your coffee? I don't know. Caffy. Um. So, uh, this particular story is of the dragon breathing in our face and having to hold it off for four hours straight hmm. in the middle of the night. Um, and our like only a Billy Joel song. Yes, yeah. and our only relief didn't come until about seven in the morning, and uh, we started at about three in the morning fighting off the dragon. Um, and and... You, when was the last time you had slept at this point? <sighs> at that time, since it was hot out and we couldn't really, um, no, I was Snuggle. able. To, I was able to actually. <laughs> they actually put us up in a church where oh. they had air conditioning. So we right. got to sleep on the church floor. Nice. Um, I had a cot and a sleeping bag, so I got to set that up in the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was about 3 p.m. This is spicy. <clears throat> it was about 3 p.m. when mm -hmm. I woke up. Um, and uh, so it, it had been almost 12 hours. Um, and didn't even get a chance to really take a tactical nap because they were constantly having us on the move. Um, Oscar Mike. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so... I hate MREs, that's how I know. I, I had um, oh. a, uh, a bunch of new... Kids on the Block albums. Yeah, we had a bunch of green, a bunch of greenhorns. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. And so being the position that I was in, I could have up to five people as a subordinate of mine that I was in charge of, had to take care of, make sure they were they were okay and all of that jazz. So I'm in charge of about three, four people in the middle of the night mm -hmm. whilst another person is up on the road. And it's about 60 degree incline drop down. And so it's like 
down and then a little ledge and there's brush everywhere mm -hmm. and the only lamps that you have is your little headlamp and the dragon mm -hmm. to light your way mm -hmm. that's what you've got for your light so uh this is um putting myself in in harm's way of course so it's voluntary it'd be voluntary suicide at that point if i was to call by anything um and uh, I had this one kid. It was his first fire ever. And it was his first real encounter with fire ever. And so the intimidation and heat mm -hmm. from the fire itself, uh, he slipped four or five times, like right next to me. We'd put out a spot fire, and then we'd move on to the next one, and he would end up losing his footing because he couldn't see in the dark with okay. just the little headlamp, yeah. you know, and trying to get back up to the road so that we can see where the next spot fire is if somebody <clears throat> didn't call it out to us. Well, this kid almost fell, like, about four times. <laughs> Thankfully, I was able to catch... Down that 60-degree... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which, if you get injured, you might die because yeah. people can't extract you. Yeah. Yeah. And... Or they die trying to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And... And and I'm sure once you're once you're in as a as a firefighter, you probably learn how to walk differently in yes. the dark when you can't see. Wearing at least forty five pounds worth of gear. Yeah. At all times. And you also have to like the the thing that I respect the most about wildland firefighting is everything that they train you for, all of the tests that you take, uh, the physical trials that you have to do. Uh, it's all because Somebody died, mm -hmm. so they made this new rule. You know, if you can't walk, Pilates is just like that. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I yep. think Pilates is right up my alley. Yeah. Um, and I will share with you guys. It's not going to be perfect, but here's that. Uh, thank you much. You're welcome, Romerica. Mm. Here's your tortilla of here's tuna, your... cheese, and cheese crackers. Here's your piping. Room temperature. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Tuna Absolutely. cracker sandwich. I mean, what kind of an evening would it be with food if I didn't make something for you? This is true. Oh, it smells terrible. <laughs> um, and uh, it, oh. just oh. saving the guy. I dropped tuna into the water. I hope no one minds. Well, it's your water, isn't it? Well, that's the no, the jug of water. The jug of water. <laughs> well, at least there's protein in it now. I mean, back to where it came from, right? It was just a little bit. <laughs> it was just a little bit. Uh, so I spent most of the evening just watching watching this kid. This wasn't uh, any more of my encounter with death so much as... Um, Preventing the death of another. <laughs> shaking yeah. his hand. Yeah. You know, it was like a good, firm handshake. Like, hey, mm -hmm. this could be you if you hadn't known what you were doing. If you, let's say something did happen and mm -hmm. he was, you know, twisted his ankle or did whatever, fire was coming up on you, would you have stayed or would you have, uh, would you have died to save him? Like, what's the, I guess, what's the protocol? Kind of, yeah. Because they're, you know, on Everest, when you climb Everest, if someone injures themselves or dies, that's their fault. They get left on the mountain, and then you go home. You know, you are worried. You are concerned about you. You know, what do you do in that situation? I mean, was well, he likable even? Yeah, it was actually pretty funny. All right, well. <clears throat> I, ca I came up with a nickname for him. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I love coming up with nicknames for coworkers. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Jeff? Yes, his name was Jeffrey. We will, we will go with Jeffrey. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Jeffrey was actually a pretty funny kid, mm -hmm. and um, I, I, if if it had come to where he was twisting his ankle, mm -hmm. the immediate priority uh, is to stop what we're doing, extract him as safely as we can, mm -hmm. even if that's form a human human ladder to take him up to the road, put him in. Uh, a vehicle and have um, at that point, I believe the uh, 
the uh, the EMT who's on site with you mm-hmm. because you have to have an EMT on site mm-hmm. at, at every single location that you're at. Don't they also have doctors and stuff too? Back at base camp, That's a big, but yeah. in the field you get an an EMT. Okay. Um, and then you have the safety officer who you know make okay, sure but, you wear your seatbelt and all that jazz. But this kid's gonna die. Right. And the fire is coming too fast. There's yeah. no human ladder. I mean, okay, do 11 of you die to try to save this, the dumb kid that couldn't pick his feet up? It's it's essentially at that point he'd have to pull his fire shelter. If okay. it's coming too fast and the rest of us can't get him out. Yeah. E- even then when you're throwing your fire shelter, it's more than likely already too late. Okay. And it's just a last-ditch resort to shield yourself from the primary amount of heat mm-hmm. and try and ride it out. Yeah, but and how well do they work? They they can work pretty well. Um, it just depends on the fuels that you are in, mm-hmm. uh, how well you seal um, yourself in there because you're supposed to make it so that it's it's basically a giant tinfoil blanket. Yeah, that you pull around yourself. Doesn't it get hot? Incredibly, you bake in there. <laughs> you you become well, a pop and fresh oven pastry. Yeah, but you're you're blocking. A forest fire going over you. Right. So relatively hot. You know? uh-huh. I mean, yeah, it's probably a little Luke musty warm. in there. Yeah. Lukewarm, you know, it gets, but, gets a little musty. You know, the, the thousand degrees outside of that is probably a little, <laughs> <laughs> probably worth it to stay in there. Well, I mean, like, would it get so hot? Like, oh, geez, I gotta let some of this out. Do you cook inside of it? Or, I mean, will it actually keep you cool enough to keep you alive? It's It's not to keep you cool. It's to keep the direct flame off of you. Okay. Oh, so you leave a not-so-charred like... corpse? <laughs> yeah, if, if you can ride it out that long. Yeah. You know, because uh, sometimes the main fire will stick around depending on what fuels you've got. Like you were talking about the duff. If there's a lot of duff on the ground, mm-hmm. uh, the ground fire is going to get you mm-hmm. just from underneath. Because mm-hmm. uh, you're supposed to... I always go under the duff, though. That's yes. the thing about me. Yeah, no, you're supposed mm-hmm. to. You're supposed to go to bare ground, even yeah. if you've got to grind it out. You know, clear the area. You've got to clear the area um, and then seal yourself in your shelter. You have about six seconds mm-hmm. to do that. Um, while, while on fire or while? Like, while the fire is well, coming towards you. If you've okay. got to throw your shelter, you have to do it as fast as possible. And What if I do it while the fire is like, meh, on the other mountain? Then you just spent a lot of money throwing one of those shelters out. And, Are uh, they hard to fold back up? Yes, okay. and you would get in trouble by a lot of people. What if I, what if I tried to use it like a flying squirrel and go from tree to tree? <laughs> as impressed as I think they'd be, they'd as be long impressed. as you went towards the fire mm-hmm. to get, you know, the buoyancy going up, right? Yeah, because hot air makes you the rise. Updraft. Yes, yeah, yes. I think as long as you've got that going on, mm-hmm. and no one shoots you because they think you're a giant flying squirrel, I think you're okay. Or Mothman. Exactly. Yeah, that's what Mothman is. Yep. Could be. Just a cool guy like me. Oh, man. Getting under that duff. Uh, I'm stuffed. So you would let the kid die, is what you're saying? Uh, You can't save anyone else if you can't save yourself first. You have to make sure you're safe before you can make sure anybody else is safe. Yeah. Put your mask on first in COVID. Yeah, in, only in COVID. <laughs> only in COVID. That's right. But on an airplane, you help everyone with their masks. Absolutely. Unless they're a child, then, you know, you adjust yours first. No. Yeah. Kids don't need as much oxygen. Learn. Okay, I think one of my, my, oh, it's the Liberty Bell, but it's only the bottom half. Who cracked the Liberty Bell in half? It does have a crack on it. Mm-hmm. Like, on purpose. So... My MRE was the best. Yours was okay. Mm-hmm. Dan's, yours was not that great. But I do like the lemoniness, lemoniness of the tuna. So the goal of the MRE is that people will eat it. I, That's I, been the goal of the of the government is to perfect these so that you eat the most of it as possible. And so yes, and they've been around <laughs> since 1981. Before that, they were like sea rations and some other stuff, you know, that's. All right, Steve. No longer in use. I'm going to try your beef patty. It's, you know, it's not bad. I actually liked yours, though. I thought yours was pretty fucking good. They're all good. 
Honestly. Yeah, they were all good. I could eat all of these. That is cheesy. <laughs> Dangerously cheesy. <laughs> Why, thanks, Chester. <laughs> Chester Cheeto. Who wants some Liberty cookies? Mm. Me, me, me. Ooh, that does have a spice to it. That's nice. Yeah, got that nice fat-free mayo. Ooh, I got a star. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking them now. They look like animal crackers, but patriotic. Yep. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> right in your lap. That's mm. hot coffee. Right in your lap. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need coffee with my... Uh, I'm actually drinking my hot chocolate or not hot chocolate. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> it's no Sanka. I'll give you that. <laughs> Sorry, Bill's Coffee, whatever the hell it's called. I think it's literally black, called Bill's Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee. No. We'd like them as a sponsor, though. Mm -hmm. I'd drink their coffee sack. Nice. <laughs> I mean, you just look cool with it, though, too. You know? <laughs> Sitting out on your porch. It reminds me of Austin Powers. Well, they definitely fill you up, because I'm stuffed. Yeah, <clears throat> and... Um, I didn't even eat all my food. Granted, I did have some of your guys' food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the military ones are only available... They're not allowed to be commercially sold. I guess it's illegal or it's, um, what does it say? Unlawful to sell okay. them commercially. So you have to get it from either a military base or a military member who's bought it at the base. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I think they're great. There are a bunch of commercial versions available. I would imagine they'd probably be the same quality and same, you know, because I mean, I don't know if it's any industry secret. I, I, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on how they handle the food sure, itself. Sure, sure. Okay, let's say I'm sure the I'm sure the the products that are in it, because all of them seem pretty good. I mean, the fat-free mayo, I'm like, why not just have regular mayo? But <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it seems like everything, the, the barbecue sauce was good. The mm -hmm. al gran potatoes were good. Yeah. The tortillas are, are the same ones that you would get in the... Marbled Pe pound cake. Yeah. That oh, looks... I want a bite of that. Yeah, I was going to say, re regardless <clears throat> of how full you are, we're going to make you pop. The strawberry <laughs> jam and um, peanut butter was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants some. Here you go, Romerica. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Oatmeal cookie. There you Thank go. Thank you, sir. Of course. Roma. Oh, no, it's not even chewy. You fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. It's soft. Careful, it's crumbly. That's actually got some pretty good taste to it. Yeah, that pound cake's not bad. It's very dry, but then again, it's, you know. It's pretty good, though. All right. Oatmeal cookie, huh? I guess. Okay. I was hoping for soft and chewy. Yeah. Well, so these were made in 2019. Uh, they need to be inspected by 2022. So that's when the kind of the expiration date is. But it actually specifically says on them, the expiration date should not be used or the inspection date should not be used as a as a indicator of whether or not it's still good. Uh, so that's pretty cool that they specifically say, hey, check it out. It might be good. It might not be good. <laughs> yeah. Cookie's pretty good. It's very um, spiced. Oh, okay. Like a gingerbread. Kind of, yeah. It does taste very gingerbread-y. Ginger snap. I mean, it's good. <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't it's go... It's a little dense. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> These are like those dollar store mm -hmm. iced ones. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. At least those ones are soft. If you were hungry enough, it'd be delicious. Oh, God, yeah. I'd be loving it. I'm just already so full of... You you drink you drink some water with one of those and it's magic when you haven't had sweets in a minute. Oh, I bet, yeah. <laughs> Anybody want some tuna fish water? <laughs> no, I'm okay personally. You know, well, I think this is a win. I was expecting I was expecting a lot worse, a mm -hmm. lot worse. Yeah. I was not expecting to open a little foil thing and have just two tortillas pop out of it. <laughs> and just be like, oh, yeah, these are tortillas. 
<laughs> oh yeah, they uh like the breakfast ones. They'll have like little uh, maple syrup sausage patty, and they'll do like pancakes the same way. Mm-hmm. They'll oh, get, that like, sounds a little good. Thing of butter. And that's the amazing thing is so <clears throat> the twenty five year survival food is just like it's not even food. It's just like powders that you mix. You know, powders and and freeze dried. Yeah. Dry yeah. Stuff. Um, so and, do they have like vegetarian options? Yes, yes, actually they do. Oh, cool. Like they do have a vegetarian meal. Do they have vegan options? Uh, I don't know if Probably they go not. that far. Do they have keto options? Do they have if, carnivore um, diet options? They, 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 don't, they don't believe in keto. Mm. You need the carbs for the job. There, yes, there yes are you quite, do. There are quite a few areas on this. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. Three times in one banner it says warfighter. <laughs> I'm not thinking a lot of vegans are. <laughs> yeah, going, fair enough. This really, this sounds like me. Yeah. Sarah says. Uh, Warfighter recommended. Warfighter tested. Warfighter approved. So, Dan, did you finish your story? Because we're on at the end of the show. Yes, act- actually, I did. Uh, it was it was pretty much saving the child and. Yeah, Jeffrey's dead. Well, <laughs> couldn't keep his footing. Yeah. Just wanted to dance on the fire line, and that's what it got him. Mm-hmm. I tied his shoelaces together. <laughs> Fuck him. Because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Poor that's Jeffrey. pretty intense. Yeah, uh, especially the fact of having to do it for four hours straight. Uh, it was... It was... <laughs> that's horrifying. Yep. Are we back? (laughs) We're back. Did you just have a flashback? Yeah. Yes. It was more like a flash present. Hmm. Some good marble cake. Not too bad, huh? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, no. I'm super into all this stuff. Yeah. Guess I've got 21 more to go. There you go. (laughs) Um, We're at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. What do we want to say? Like, subscribe, join us. Become part of the sociopath nation. That's right. I like it. Which is also mm-hmm. part of America. Yeah, That's you can right. find us on Instagram at the Sensible Sociopath Podcast. Do please like and subscribe, share, comment below. That helps with algorithms. Mm-hmm. We're on Minds. We're on uh, Parlor, both at Sensox Steve and the Sensible Sociopath Podcast. Either way, I'll get you. We're also on Rumble. We're on BitChute. Except BitChute hasn't been uploading our videos currently i keep trying but they just don't seem to want to accept them um it's probably because they're too controversial too good too just good. like this episode yep we talked about jeffrey nobody misses him <laughs> no i'm sorry bitch shoot if you don't like that <laughs> and always uh, remember if you're gonna be a sociopath you might as well be sensible exactly then you're you know that's how you get away with it that's right <clears throat> exactly so thank you everyone uh check us out next week we'll be here oh and we have a big guest coming up soon yeah, not next Friday, but the following. Yeah. Um, so stay tuned. You know, we'll obviously things. Uh, we'll update you. Yeah, might change or not, but but somebody you may have seen in other in other podcasts in other places, and so it's kind of cool. Yeah. With a uh, a cool topic that perhaps we don't believe it, but I'm open. I, we're, exactly, we're open to to have somebody try to uh, change our minds, as let's say. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much, and uh, talk to you guys later. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye. Best podcast in the world. The world would not be the same. I like it. No wonder my anxiety's so high. Two people laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Two people cried. Oh, what's in the box? Most people were silent. And that's, that's, that was it as I was, that's, I, 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 Now I am become deaf. Sounds like a bad time. The destroyer of worlds. Yeah, so this doesn't seem like a great idea to me. I suppose we all thought that. One way or another. You didn't tell me any of that. That's crazy. Well, Rama, when you're a hero, you don't tell everyone. Until you're on your podcast. I'm about to hear some shit. We all need to laugh. I think just sitting down and, you know, listening to... The Sensible Sociopath. This is the shit you're supposed to be watching. Gen X is going to love it. Millennials are going to be like, I'm offended. You have offended me. Also, my dog has a giant dick. Oh my god, that's enormous. I love it. It's still a racist dog whistle. Where you kind of have like a rotating cast of characters. We're talking baby seals, eagles, 
wolves. I'm just glad we're not going to have to eat with racism anymore. It's worse than the butthole. We're technically considered propaganda. It is very contagious. I think we really need to talk about environmentalism. Like, are they studying pine cones? Make yourself a nice stingray omelet. That's how Steve Irwin died. Cholesterol. It's fucking delicious. His father had ended up killing his mother and committing suicide. In that order? That's diabolical. I like it. They had an apple gun where you could shoot Bigfoot. Has she always been retarded? I mean, she could have had a head injury. <laughs> you don't know anything about tartar sauce. He had picked up a 400-pound statue and was, like, walking around with it. Was the statue racist? I'd like to think so. It's like how they invented bacon and avocado to make a turkey sandwich tolerable. I have a fear of fire. Like a werewolf? <laughs> Daniel, you've been our greatest viewer. Well, Daniel and Sarah and Katrina. Daniel!